You are the dark force. You will die. I want to sell. Come on, Lucy. Not only is she the dark force, she's, she's part of the black, um, the All Blacks team. And that rugby match, you die for that as an Australian. Hey, these are great. These are the Sabres. Apparently the new, uh, the new thing. Put it away. Let's sit down. Let me tell you a little story here. There we go. Do you know the global toy market should reach about, oh, it's bright now, is it? Should reach about $90 billion in 2015. This is according to toy analyst NPD. But what toy will be topping the Santa Claus list this I'm exhausted, aren't you? Uh, topping the Santa Claus list. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> uh, well, the predictions are out, and the blockbuster licenses for films such as Star Wars, also we've got a little else here, Frozen, they're in the mix across the globe. How does it compare, though, and what's happening elsewhere in the world? How does it vary from country to country? Who spends the most, and what trends are we likely to see? Well, let's get more. Frederick Tut is toys, uh, or toy global analyst, industry analyst with. NPD group and brought all this all these wonderful things in. Thank you very much for do that doing that. Any surprises that out of, if you look at the say the top 12, right? There's a good chunk of that that are associated with these big blockbuster films. That's correct. We've got four out of twelve with three Star Wars items and of course the new single and frozen Elsa. Well um I'm so that Elsa's still in the That's what I would have yeah, 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 thought that yeah. her day had, had been and gone. I think also make up oh she's going to sing. Let it go and sing We can let it go. Let it go. Just <laughs> let it go, Aaron. Technology and dolls. Enhancing the toy play pattern, basically, we see this one is a sing-along Elsa. So if you bring the microphone... <laughs> sure. <laughs> if you bring the microphone next to her, she will sing. If you bring it next to you, then you can play along and sing along with her. So it's truly interactive. And this new product will really be a strong seller for Christmas. And Kylo Ren's lightsaber, that's going to yeah, be massive. I mean, it's amazing. Right. Yeah. If you've ever seen a son and a dad playing Star Wars <laughs> together, like, like you just did, <laughs> this is just the ultimate but, one. But, but, Frederic, we ain't talking about the old... I, mean, I remember when the, the, saber, you know, the, the lightsaber came out many, many... Well, the original Star Wars, that's how old I am. Um, actually, I don't think I ever got one. Um, but look, I mean, look at this thing. Now, this is... This is this, but now you've got what? You can add on to it. Yes, this is a blade builder and all these blade bits, builder. yeah, they all come apart and you can build up to 100 different customizations of your blade builder. Can I ask, what, what, sort of, what sort of money are we talking about? I mean, we talk about globally the industry is worth $90 billion. That's Some correct. of these toys ain't cheap, are they? They're not, but they're good value and there's technology in them, so that's also driving the prices up. The toys that we're looking at now, the other toys that you've been looking at on your, on your list, topping this year's list, is it the same trend globally? Are, are toys universal? In terms of the big franchises like Star Wars and Frozen, very much so. But that some countries will be more geared towards building sets or vehicles like the, the Germans, the Polish and the Russians, for example. And some other countries will be more traditional in their play pattern with dolls. So that's the case in Spain or in Mexico, for example. There's no that's stopping Lego, though, is there? I mean, this Lego set here, the whole Star Wars theme it's that they've got, I mean, they've got a whole lot coming out with The Force Awakens uh -huh. starting. There is absolutely no, no stopping them, is there? Uh, for the moment, they just got everything going for them. So either on their brand side, so they have brands such as Lego City, Lego Ninjago. For girls now, they have a range called Lego Friends. That's doing great. And on top of that, their portfolio is really balanced with such licenses as Star Wars or Avengers or Ninja Turtles. Mm. So they're doing the best of both. And, and you and I, was, uh, you know, and we've had the CEO of, of Lego on a few times on this program. He's a company that not many years ago was almost bankrupt, but they've done it very smart, haven't they? They've just made this, this comeback, an incredible comeback. In terms of spend, in terms of, well, let me be frank, who spends the most on toys, like country-wise? The Brits. The Brits! <laughs> ah, well, I'm Australian, you're in Kiwi, but we both live here. So, the, you've got boys, do you spend a lot of money on Not toys? Not this kind of money. Not no, this kind quite, of money. we're quite careful at Christmas, I have to say. But that, when you say the Brits, you mean the, the, the British people spend more, is it, that's per... Per child. Per child, per child per than, child. say, the Americans. Yes, they do. So, in average, in the UK, it's £300 per child for 37 Three. toys. Mm -hmm. Per year, per year. Or 37 year. toys. You're tired, aren't you? You don't well, do that. Well, not at the grandparents take over at that point, <laughs> I have to say. Well, look, phenomenal. It's going to be obviously a very big year. We appreciate it. And we'll have to get, get you back for next year for mm -hmm. 2016. <laughs> Frederic Tug. Thank you very much for bringing this in. If you think you're going to take it away with you, you've got another <laughs> thing coming. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm joking. Where am I going to? That's it.
That's it with the business. Follow me on Twitter. Tweet me. I'll tweet you right back. You can get me at BBC Aaron. Yeah, this uh, is going to be you is... and I after the program, Aaron. That's it. <laughs> Lucy, go. How do you take yours? We're talking coffee, of course, not toys. Skinny lattes, double espresso. I have a flat white. Cappuccino? Americano? Uh, latte. 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 Yeah. Well, for generations, New Yorkers have been waking up to their favourite coffee. But recently, a new cafe opened up in the Big Apple. Offering only decaf. Go away. We've been to see if the city that never sleeps can actually survive without their caffeine hit. 